Okay, I'm back. So now I'm gonna um, wash this off. It's it's not that it's completely dry. It just kind of leaves kind of a sticky film, and you can tell it's it doesn't have that wet feeling anymore. It's it's dried enough to feel to where it feels like it's absorbed into my skin. Um, the biggest thing with that is, you know, it is sticky, so it doesn't just come off like a like makeup or face wash. I mean, you really gotta you really gotta try to scrub it off. But I mean, this is the most refreshing thing I think I use on my face. And and the interesting thing is this is homemade. And immediately my skin looks better. Um, I believe the propolis has a lot of healing properties. Um, you could use that or you could use Manuka honey. You know, depending on how your skin reacts to, to these things, um, mine tolerates it very well, which is funny because I have really sensitive skin. And I've got a little miss with me. She imitates everything I do. So I've just about got it off. Hoping I didn't get it on my clothes. This is the first time I've used it actually on my neck. So my neck looks just a tad red. So just getting the last little bit. Um, I mean, you just feel like your skin is so smooth after using this. Mom. It makes it feel soft Mom. the next day. It's kind of incredible for, for something you can make so easily. Mom. I just used activated charcoal and, and Manuka, I'm not Manuka, Propolis. Mom. And the nutmeg for Mom. the exfoliation and cinnamon for the pores. So now I'm going to use my face wash just to kind of ensure that I got it all. Again, um, as I told you the other day, I'm starting to use the Zenobaji. Um, this is a gentle skin cleanser. Um, it's it's really a nice, smooth, and you really don't have to use a whole lot. Like, I think what I just put on was more than I needed. But the good thing is, you know, you have leftover um, exfoliation on your skin and you can feel the sandiness just a little bit depending on how much nutmeg you use and so it's a good idea to just go over it again so that you know when you do apply your makeup it's good and smooth And then now for the toner to balance. And then, of course, I've got the Regenica, which is going to be great for, um, it's a great serum, and it has so many natural um, things that are in it. Instead of putting a ton of chemicals on my face, I feel like I'm putting um, something that's actually going to be healthy for it. Um, this can, you can only get from, you know, from a prescribing provider. Uh, I mean, they don't have to prescribe it, but, but they have to be a provider who, do, who can prescribe. And I kind of let that dry. And the last step of my routine is going to be to put on some type of a moisturizer. I love this one. It actually says it's for nighttime, but I use it day and night. And it is um, it is a coconut face cream, nighttime replenishing, uh, fair trade. It's uh, you know basically something you can find in the organic section. I actually got mine at Kroger. Um, I love when I look at a um, 
when I look at something to put on my face and I see items like coconut oil, neem, um, papaya, leaf extract, you know, this is, this has emulsifying wax. I mean, it's just about as natural as you can get. Lavender oil. Um, so, you know, I think if you're taking care of your skin, you're only going to age your skin if you're putting a ton of chemicals on it that, um, that aren't good for your skin. So, so I like to use this. And then the other thing I like to use when I'm really feeling like my skin is dry, I want it refreshed, um, I use Good Day Hemp Oil Salve. Now, I'll usually just use that right around my eyes, you know, the areas that I'm worried. And, and I might refresh using that later on in the day just to kind of, you know, improve the texture. It's very, um, it's kind of like coconut oil, you know, it's, it's, it's a very stiff type of, as you can see, there's like, it, it has to sit there and it has to kind of melt a little bit before it'll actually absorb into my skin. But as you can see, I've still got the lines when I smile. And that's the main thing that I really want to fix. Now, from, from what, from everything I've read, you know, you can't actually just get rid of those because, I mean, your normal facial motions are just going to cause those. And the older we get, the more we've made those facial motions, the less collagen we have. Um, but you can make them smoother and, um, and make your skin look better as a whole. And of course I'm following with my coconut oil or coconut lotion. And now I'm ready for my makeup. And I'll see you all next time.